Good morning children. This class will reveal you about the word density. Let me explain about this in this class. Have a glance at this picture. What do you infer from this field? One part of this field is filled with more number of plants. On the other hand, when you look at this part, then there are less number of plants. Even though the area is same, the number of items present in the first case is more than that of the second case. So you can call the first field is filled with more denser plants than that of the second field. Now we can cast the meaning of the word clearly denser, is it not? If the number of items is more, then you can call it as denser. If the number of items is less, then you can call it as less denser. The same thing is adopted in the material media also. Compare solid with that of liquid. The number of molecules packed in solid is the distance between the two molecules is less, sometimes overlapping in solids. When you compare that of liquid and gas, the number of molecules spread over in gas is more compared to that of liquid. That is, the number of molecules present per unit area in liquid is more compared to that of gas. The density of solid is more compared to that of liquid and gas. And hence, we can easily define the word density. Density is defined as mass per unit volume. Here is the definition of density. Density of a substance is defined as the mass of the substance contained in unit volume. Volume in meter cube and the mass of the substance in kilogram. Mass of the substance is denoted as M and the volume is denoted as V. Consider iron ball. Then what will happen when you put the iron ball into the water? Then it will sink into the water. Drop the cork into the water. What will you observe? The cork will float on the water. You take the mass of this iron ball is 1 kilogram and mass of this cork is 1 kilogram. When you compare the number of molecules present in the solid and when you see the number of molecules present in the car, the number of molecules present in the car is very very less compared to the of the iron ball. The number of molecules present in the iron ball is more when you compare to the of the number of molecules present in the car. The density of this iron ball is high compared to the of the density of this car. From this activity, we can observe that the wooden block occupies more volume than the iron ball of same mass. Also, we observe that the wooden block is lighter than the iron block of same size. The lightness or heaviness of a body is due to its density. If more mass is packed into the same volume, it has greater density. So, the iron block will have more mass than the wooden block of the same size. Therefore, iron has more density and hence it sinks into the water whereas the wooden block floats on the water. Different materials have different densities. The materials with more density are called denser and the materials with less density are called rarer. Different materials possess different density. When you compare gas, liquid and solid, the density of gas is very very less if you compare kerosene, it is 800 and air, it is 1.2 kg per meter cube. Look at the density of water, it is 1000 kg per meter cube. For iron, it is 7800 kg per meter cube. Solid materials possess higher density compared to that of liquid. And liquid possess higher density compared to that of gas. You can easily understand the relationship between mass, density and volume with the help of this picture. You denote mass here and density here and volume here. Then if you want mass, then you can easily multiply density and volume. If you want density, then mass is divided by volume will give you density. If you want volume, then if you divide mass per density, then you can get volume. With this simple triangle, we can easily identify the interrelationship between mass, density and volume. Look at this simple problem. A solid cylinder of mass 280 kg has a volume of 4 meter cube. Find the density of cylinder. This is the direct question. You can write the value of density. Density is equal to mass per volume. Here it is given a cylinder. You add the word cylinder. Density of cylinder is equal to mass of the cylinder by volume of cylinder. What is mass here? It is 280 kg. Then substitute 280 for mass and 4 meter cube is the volume. So substitute 4 for volume and hence you will get 
70 kg per meter cube. This is the density of the solid cylinder of mass to 80 kg and volume 4 meter cube. Come to the next problem. A box is made up of iron and it has a volume of 125 centimeter cube. Find its mass if the density of the iron is 7.8 gram per centimeter cube. As we know already from this, then if you want mass, then you can simply multiply density and volume. Apply this rule here. Density is equal to mass per volume and hence mass is equal to volume into density. What is the data given here? The volume is 125 centimeter cube. Substitute 125 for volume and the density given here is 7.8 gram per centimeter cube. So substitute 7.8. Since it is in CGS system, you have to check whether it is given in centimeter or meter. If one of the unit in meter, the other unit in centimeter, you have to convert accordingly. Here, 125 into 7.8 is equal to 975 gram. The mass of this box is 975 gram.